Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. This morning we're going to go over a unit we've done before, but we're going to go over it again. Um, point out a couple differences, maybe some options we've added to this trailer. We order all our trailers fully custom here at TransWest. Not one trailer is going to be the same. We always add options. We order, we sell options here at TransWest. We add options to every trailer and we customize every trailer. That way, if you're coming in here, everything's not the same. You maybe have a couple features you want and we're going to have those features or a couple features we can add here for you. But anyway, this is a 2021 Cimarron North Star, four horse gooseneck. This trailer is 21 foot on the floor, 610 wide, 71 tall. Up here at the front of the trailer, we do have your spare tire. You notice that that spare is an aluminum wheel tire. I, I really like that they match the spare tire wheel to the wheels that are actually on the trailer. Because if you go down the trailer and you blow a road and say you're going for a week long trip somewhere, you don't want to have mismatched tires or be riding on a donut or be riding on you know a steel wheel and make your trailer not look as flashy. The show world, um, flashiness matters a lot. Um, show up to a rodeo, a show, something like that, you want your trailer looking just as good as your horses are, that are unloading out of that trailer are. It does just have your uh, standard manual jack. We can't upgrade that to an electric over hydraulic jack if you guys wanted, or if you guys got a trailer at home that you have a standard jack on and maybe you want an electric hydraulic jack, we can do that in our shop here for you guys as well. Up here in the nose, they are standard sliding type bus windows. Cool thing about this trailer, is I'll show you guys here in a minute, is it is framed for an AC. There's not an AC on it, but we frame all of our Cimarron's for an AC. So when you're up in here, you're going on a trip or something like that, maybe not staying in here, but you need to maybe crash for a night on a long trip or something like that. It's getting late, you're getting tired. It's hot in the summer, you can always click that AC on and it's insulated roof in there, so it'll keep it cold in there in the summer for you guys. Or on a cold day like today, you can jump up in there and your body heat will keep you pretty warm in there with that insulated roof as well. You'll notice this is a bigger than standard door in this tack room. Uh, your standard, I think, is 33 inches. This is a 42 inch door, so it gives you a lot more space to get saddles in and out of here. But also, you know, it's more functional. You can crawl, crawl in here. If you got a saddle, you're not having to shimmy it sideways and stuff to get in here. You can just walk straight in the trailer and throw it on the rack. This trailer is equipped with a brush box here on your tack room door. That is an option we added to this trailer. I'll talk a lot about options we've added to this trailer. So that brush box is an option. I talked about the bigger door a little bit. That's an option we've also added to this trailer. This handy little fold up step that you guys probably think is not a crazy good option, but once you have this step and you're not stepping that extra six, eight inches up in the trailer, you'll never buy one without a fold up step again. It runs off a gas piston that holds it up going down the road. It's super simple, super effective. And I think that's one of our most popular options we add to our trailers. Coming up inside your front tack room, right here on your gooseneck drop wall, it is fully carpeted. Again, if you want to throw a mattress or something up here, you 100% can. With your two sliding type bus windows up at the front. And up here on the roof, like I pointed out when we were talking about that AC outside, it is framed for an AC. So it's super simple. Simple. If you want to buy this trailer and put an AC on it right away, or a few years down the road, maybe you're deciding you maybe need a place to crash, you know, for a night. A weekend something like that we can easily cut that out and put an AC in here for you guys working our way down this drop wall to the floor we do have a 50 50 split boot box here again helping you guys stay organized going down the road helping you guys you know keep your stuff out of the elements a lot of the times you're dragging mud on a weekend that it's raining or something like that you're dragging mud you're dragging dirt it's getting all over the ground if you got some stuff you don't want to get dirty Split boots a lot of time are notorious for getting dirty if you're hauling horses. Um, keeping them in a boot box like this just kind of keeps them from rolling around in the dust, rolling around in the dirt, and keeps them in better shape for you guys. This boot box we added is also another option we added to these trailers. So you can tell, I mean, it may seem like a basic trailer from the outside, but once you start breaking it down, we have added a lot of options to this trailer that you don't normally see on other Cimarron trailers. Coming down your driver's side wall here, we do have a shelf with a clothes rod right here. Customer pointed out the other day, the cool thing about this shelf is it's not just a flat shelf up top. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video, but it is lipped. So anything you put in that shelf, hats, you know, a lot of the time you're throwing cowboy hats, there's not a good place to ever put cowboy hats in a trailer. You can throw your hat boxes up there, your hats, and they won't slide off that rim and be laying on the floor when you get to where you're going. It's real handy to put a clothes rod right here. 
hang your clothes. Again, you're probably not going to be living in here, but a lot of times you're not driving home in your show clothes or your rodeo clothes. You're throwing, you know, comfy driving shoes on. You're throwing t-shirt and shorts on the long hauls, and you can hang all your clothes back here. That way you have, you know, different options for you going down the road. Another option we've added to this trailer is they typically come with a little standard LED light about this big, which is a great light if you want to go that route, but we've upgraded all the lights in this trailer to this OptiBright light, and as you can see, it's a lot brighter. Um, it doesn't draw as much power as it looks like it draws. It's a really low power draw. Um, lights up a room, and that LED light's a really clean looking light on a trailer like this. Moving over to the corner of this trailer, you notice it does have a 25 gallon water tank. I think it's great taking water when you're going to rodeos, going to shows, stuff like that, because a lot of times you'll get somewhere, it's hard to find the hydrant, you're far away from the hydrant, and if you're not wanting to carry water buckets, you know, quarter mile every morning to get water for your horses, or your steers, or whatever you're hauling, it's real handy to have water in here. If you're going somewhere for a day or two, it's more than enough water to keep all your horses watered. Um, or if you're going on long trips, it's great to have an extra water tank just because you're not stopping at gas stations, asking the gas station manager if you can find a hydrant, and then just making sure that water is safe for your guys' horses. If you're always bringing water from your house, you always know it's safe. Your horses will always drink it. I think it's a great option for you guys. This partition wall, again, another option we added. It is a fully carpeted partition wall. A lot of times you'll see it where it's bare paint or it's just carpeted behind the bridle hooks. We went ahead and fully carpeted this. That carpet keeps your bridles and everything from rubbing on your paint, rubbing on your aluminum, or anything you may be sliding up against this partition wall. We made this front tack a little bit bigger. I think it's a half foot bigger than the standard. Um, so you're, you're going to have extra room to fit totes and stuff in here. So with this fully carpeted wall, your totes might not be sliding around and rubbing your aluminum as much as they would normally. It's a great carpeted partition wall. Another thing I want to point, point out, kind of head towards the floor of this corner water tank. As you notice, there is a mount down here by this corner water tank. What that is, is this trailer has a folding rear tack. The cool thing about having a folding rear tack is a lot of people live on a farm, live on a ranch, something like that. They always have four wheelers or ATVs that they, you know, maybe need to go somewhere. They like going out, snowmobiling or something like that on the weekend. Equipping this trailer with a folding rear tack, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, allows you to take that saddle rack out of that folding rear tack and mount it to your floor and ceiling right here. It's real easy. You just pull a pin, it slides in. You can do it with one person real easy. And then it gives you the option to use your entire back area for, you know, ATVs, four wheelers, snowmobiles, or if you have some bigger horses or you just want to give your horses some more room, it gives you that option to move that tack up here and utilize that full back space back there. Working our way down the side of this trailer. It is equipped with four sliding type bus windows here on the hip side. They do open halfway. Again, I think they're bigger than normal. Sometimes you might see a little bit bigger bus windows, but I think these are very large bus windows for what you see a lot of the times getting pulled going down the highway. These slide open, they allow that air to be drawn out. A lot of your air is going to come in through your roof vents on this trailer and your drop downs. So by opening those bus windows, it keeps that air flowing through the trailer and not swirling in there, swirling hay and stuff. It just keeps a nice, clean airflow over the top of your horses. Up top of these bus windows, we do have a 16 inch awning light. We did upgrade. Typically, I think that's a, it's going to be an eight inch awning light. We went ahead and upgraded it to a 16. We figured if you're going to have more horses tied out on a four horse like this, you're going to need more light shining on your horses to saddle. More light if you're out here feeding and watering, if you get somewhere late at night, just to help you guys be more effective and efficient and safe when you're unloading or feeding, paying, stuff like that. Down here, this trailer is riding on two 6,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. Again, those are really slick aluminum looking wheels that really make this trailer shine. You'll notice there's a green tab on all these tires as well. What that means is these tires are nitrogen filled, which is a great thing for a morning like this where it's 10 degrees. The next week, you know, it's going to be 60. A lot of the times with normal air, you're going to be filling them up when it gets cold because your tire pressure is going to drop. And then the next week you get a heat wave and you're going to be draining the air out of them because they're over regulation. You got them aired too high. The nitrogen it kind of keeps that PSI balanced out in there for heat waves or cold snaps like we're having this morning. Cool thing about it is if you get a low tire, something like that, you can always just put normal air in there on top of that nitrogen or you can just completely empty the nitrogen and make them air. It's kind of up to you guys, but it does give you the option. You can always just put normal air in there and then have your factory or your dealer or a tire shop air them up with nitrogen. Coming around the back side of this trailer, 
You'll notice this is that folding rear tack I was talking about. Again, this is kind of not so much, I want to say an option, but it's an option of a setup we have. You can set up your tack rooms a lot of way in these trailers. This folding rear tack is an option we added. This is that saddle post I was talking about earlier. That whole saddle post, you pull a pin up here by the roof. It's got the same mounting brackets that it has up front and you just take it out there and slide it in the holes up front. And that gives you the option to fold this whole wall over and use this whole space back here for you again. Larger horses, giving your horse some more room, four wheelers, ATVs, snowmobiles. Gives you a lot of versatility. That way you're not having, you know, a toy hauler type trailer and a horse trailer. You have one trailer that can do everything. We've added some bridle hooks here on your uh, folding door cool thing I like about Cimarron that they do is anywhere you kind of see where a horse might be able to kick or something might be able to rub is going to be this uh, it's like a quarter inch rubber kick mat cool thing about this kick mat it's super easy to replace if you do get a horse that's kicking and stuff and chipping away at it or tears it you pretty much you can go in there and cut it out and reseal new rubber right in over the top of it or you can take the whole rubber mat off and just rivet you a new rubber it's super easy to replace and maintain this trailer, a lot of times in my videos or a lot of our videos, you'll see us talk about the butt straps. The reason we don't have a butt strap in this trailer is a lot of times we do a butt strap, it's going to be a long distance for that butt strap to drop. That way it's not getting hooked behind. But for a shorter distance like this, a butt bar is real easy. You can take it out of there and it falls out of the way of your horses. If you get a longer bar that don't fit that clearance right here, that bar tends to stay across there like that. And your horse backs out and it gets hooked a foot behind it, it can get pretty gnarly pretty quick. So on a longer setup, we like to do a butt strap. On a shorter one, we'll do that bar just because it's a lot more effective. I'll show you guys the floor. The floor in this trailer might be frozen. It is an all aluminum floor in the Cimarron trailer. Consider this to be the best floor on the market. And the reason we consider that is because this floor is built on four inch V-truss centers. What those four inch centers allow is they're a lot narrower than most trailer centers. So no matter where your horse stands on this floor, he's gonna be standing directly over a support beam versus in between a support beam where a floor could be weaker. This trailer does have full dividers. It's gotta have a stud divider in your first stall. You notice there are no, no pads in here. That's an option we did not add to this trailer, but that's an option we can add in our shop for you guys. Or if you're maybe thinking about ordering a trailer, we can always put pads on there for you guys. Here in your number one stall, again, it is a full stud type stall. Thing I want to point out is an option we didn't add on this trailer is feed bags. Feed bags I think are great. We always add you the option to be able to easily add them though. You'll notice there are three D-rings in each one of these stalls. If you guys wanted to buy feed bags or order feed bags, they'll snap right in there. Just plug and play type. Um, I think feed bags are great, but again, that's an option we did not add to this trailer, but an option we can easily add if that's something you guys did want. Cool thing about having a stud stall that I talk about in every single one of my videos is you get this usable space right here. A lot of times you'll buy a four horse and you're not technically going to be hauling four all the time. Most of the time you're hauling three, two. You just want that option to haul four because you maybe have four horses or have people to haul with you all the time. But if not, you have that option to use this for hay storage, generator storage, grain storage. And it keeps all your nasty hay, all your nasty grain out of your front tacker, out of the bed of your pickup. Beds of your pickup can get pretty nasty hauling hay, especially if you have toolboxes and stuff where that hay can get trapped behind. But putting it in here, it's right in here with your shavings, it's right in here with everything else, and it gives you that option to broom it out and spray it out and keep everything really clean. Your truck, your trailer, the bed of your truck. Another cool thing about Cimarron is they do bow their roofs. You'll notice there's a slight bow in all the framing of this roof. And what that allows for is all the water and snow, like today if it snowed on the roof, it'll melt off and run off this trailer versus sit up there. It's not going to rot at your seals. This roof's going to last a lot longer than it would if it was flat. Another cool thing is what they use to seal their roofs. There's only two trailer manufacturers on the market that do it. They use a special compound to seal the roofs. You're going to not have to worry about resealing this roof for you know, 9, 10, 11 years. Most trailer companies are going to have to start worrying about resealing your roof after 5 or 6 years. While we're on the topic of the roof, up here we do have a roof vent in each one of your stalls. They are two-way roof vents. They act really easy. You can either open them to pull air in or open them to push air out. Typically you run a couple open that's pulling air in in the front and it's pulling that air out in the back. Kind of the same way you're pulling air through your drop down windows and out your bus windows. You're getting fresh, clean, cold air in the summer over your horses. Or maybe just a little breeze over your horses if it's colder in the winter and you want to lock this thing up a little bit. 
Here on your hip wall, again, those with upgraded OptiBright lights, your horses are going to have more than enough light back here. And if you're wanting to check on your horses somewhere while you're going down the highway or anything like that, it's really easy to jump in a window and you'll have more than enough light to see, make sure all your horses are okay back here. The thing I want to talk about before I jump out is right here on this latch. Cimarron uses a plastic wall latch system. A lot of people think they're not as strong, but I'm, we've never had one break. We've never had a problem with them. They're just as strong as running a metal-on-metal -metal latch, but I think they have a lot more benefits than a metal-on-metal -metal latch. The reason I think that is because metal-on-plastic wears a lot better than metal-on-metal. -metal. If you put a metal latch here with a metal clasp, it's going to be rattling, and eventually it's going to chip away enough at that metal, either on the latch system or the clasp, that it's going to be making a lot of noise, and it's going to start moving, and then eventually it's going to be, you know, not structurally sound, and it's going to come unhooked. This is going to take a whole lot more time to wear out, and you'll notice just how quiet that is. It's way quieter than a metal latch system, and it's just as strong. We will jump out and go around the head side. Coming around the head side of this trailer, again, Simron's drop down windows, they're extra large, they're super easy to use. The reason I like them is because you can run them one handed, you can close them really easy, and you can open them really easy. Another reason I like them is they got these really simple jail, jail bars to use. This trailer being 610 wide, it allows you to jump up on these running boards to check on your horses and tie your horses. So it's real easy that if your horses are tied in there, you can drop your day of jail bars, jump up here on your running board, check on your horses, feed your horses, and untie your horses. I like it because you can untie your horses when you get somewhere before you even open that back door. And your horses aren't trying to run you over to get out the back of the trailer. They're not hanging themselves up. Everything's free and clear, and they can just back right out. All three windows will be those drop-down fold type, those really handy gel bars. Again, they're really handy. Here is that stud front stall escape door I was talking about. It's really easy. Like I said, if you have three, two horses loaded, you can keep this divider shut. You have really easy access to your hay, your grain. Maybe you have some toes with some stuff you need access to going down the highway. You can always just open this door, keep your horses loaded. You don't have to worry about unloading everything and have access to more stuff that you're storing cool thing I like also is it's not as big as your typical drop downs but they went ahead and they put a drop down window in this escape door a lot of times you'll see just that little bus window that's like in the side of there but we give you the option to have both this is a sliding type bus but you also get that drop down that won't drop down with the door open but you also get this drop down works exactly the same as your other drop downs it's just smaller because that's a smaller door being an escape door but I love it because it gives you that option again that if you have a horse in there, you're feeding them in the hay bags, you can always drop that down super easy, jump up on your running board, check on them, feed them, do whatever you need to do with that horse. Again, you got your bus window up here in the nose. You can open those if you're staying in there. If you're airing some pads out, if you do have the tack room up in there, you're airing that out as well. Coming around the front of this trailer, we'll just we'll pan the trailer. I'll show it to you guys one more time. You'll see this sweet little sport chassis that it's hooked onto in this video. Larry just did a video on it. If you guys want to give us a call and ask about the truck or trailer, ask for Larry for the truck, me for the trailer. But we'll give you guys a stock number here in a sec. Again, it's a real flashy trailer. There's a lot of added options that we talked about. I always like to mention we add options from the factory, but if there's something on a trailer that we're maybe missing that you guys think, man, that trailer's perfect, but it needs this, or I want this taken off and replaced with this, we can pretty much do anything you guys want here in our trailer shop to our trailers that we have here, or we have trailers coming on order. But if you're interested in this trailer, again, it's a 2021 Cimarron North Star. Stock number is 5N200718. If you want to go ahead and call about this trailer, maybe this truck is hooked on, go ahead and give us a call at 303-684-3400. Again, my name's Tanner. Thanks for tuning in.